Hey everybody, Sean Collier here with Johnson RV in our August uh, weekend workshop. And today we're going to focus on some of our smaller campers that we've got available. Um, you know, some of the stuff that we've shown in the past last month was toy haulers and you saw some of the big fifth wheels and travel trailers and things like that you need a big truck for. This month we're going to focus on some of the smaller ones that not so much. Uh, a half ton truck, uh, some of your um, smaller SUVs, uh, all the way down to a, to a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, this, this, most of those have a uh, around 3,000 pound uh, tow capacity, so we're going to show you some campers that, that even a Jeep can pull today. All right, now we're to our smallest uh, camper we'll be showing you today. This is a Clipper 9.0 TD, weighing only 1,400 pounds. Just about everything can pull this camper. Uh, this is kind of a hybrid between a pop-up and, um, and, and a traditional hard-sided camper where you do still have the canvas in this little area here. This lid is real easy. It's got shocks on it and it just closes down. Right now we got this set up. Here's a view of it closed. This camper is real easy to set up. You just lift that up, install this door. It comes with a half door right here. If something like this is real easy. You just open this little half door that, that's right here, and you lift the uh, the top up, and you're ready to, to load to load the camper, which is really really nice. This is just an easier, quicker camping trip type unit. We've got your you know porta potty instead of traditional uh, uh, bathroom, but this is a this is a basic camper, a bed, a sink, still has heat, an air conditioner. That air conditioner is the same size that's on some of the other campers we're, we're going to be looking at. It'll cool it way down. This is really neat. This is an electric cooler that, uh, that works off the, uh, the systems in the camper to keep it going. You got storage under the bed, all the protection from the elements, be it hot or cold. Just everything you need to just stop somewhere overnight real quick, hop in it and sleep or spend a week in it. All right, this here is a Clipper 12.0 Max. This is the bigger brother to the 9.0 that we just looked at, and it only weighs 2,200 pounds. So you're still talking about a camper that even a Jeep Wrangler can pull. And uh, let me show you the differences of, of the two. The 9.0 only has basically a, a bed and just a little teeny standing area. Your 12.0 is going to have a refrigerator that you're a little more used to seeing, like a dorm type mini fridge. There's actually even a smaller fridge outside. There's two sleeping areas and one of them converts from a place to sit, kind of like a little couch, into a bed and then you've got your, your full size bed that's always down there. Storage underneath it, storage above it. You've got your porta potty still, it comes with a grill. A microwave, which the 9.0 does not have. Hot and cold running water. A stove. Just to give you an idea of the uh, the headspace in here. So this is as you walk in, and I'm five foot ten. So right now, you know, from there you just kind of just get into bed. But this is plenty of room to cook. Wash my hands. Nice little area to get in out of the elements. Right now we're inside a Geo Pro 19 FDS, front den with a slide. This little camper, you can see how much headroom it's got. Uh, the slide really opens it up and you've got as much room as, uh, as some of your bigger campers in here just as far as living space. It is 3,400 pounds, towable by just about everything. Like I said, that Jeep Wrangler, maybe not. Uh, but even, even a lot of your SUVs these days are in the 7,000 pounds. So this is a single axle very easy to pull, very solid aluminum construction all the way around the roof, the walls, the floors. Uh, just a lightweight, solid go camping camper. Really good floor plan with a dinette kitchen here. Uh, Kelsey's sitting on a couch there with a, with a bed that stores away when you don't need it and drops down when you do. So it's a very versatile space of living and sleeping when it comes time. Good storage. Geo Pro, this is, this is the higher end of, of the campers we'll be showing today. Beautiful real wood cabinets. 
just just a solid solid camper comes with the TVs already um, uh, got the solar panels on it that's another thing about these smaller campers they're just meant to go anywhere and and do anything with them and you're gonna have the the solar equipment on most of your most of your smaller units and even the bathroom plenty of room to to use take a shower everything that you need to do you're able to do in there you're not compromising anything all the aspects of a bigger camper are in here. You got your air conditioner, refrigerator, microwave, stove, running hot water, full full commode, and a, and a good size shower, along with a, a place to sit, a place to sleep. Got a nice big awning out there, and a small little camper that only weighs 3,400 pounds. And outside of the Geo Pro, you can see the awning size is is as large as any camper. Uh, this is where a lot of the relaxation happens while you're at the campground. Plenty of room to do that. Still got the LED lights, uh, nice tinted windows. And I'm really surprised the amount of storage, storage compartment here, here, and back there, even on a camper this size. With having a smaller tow vehicle, there might be some other things you want to bring along with you. Bikes, kayaks, things like that. And the Geo Pros are equipped to do so. This is a, a front tongue mounted bike rack that'll hold three bikes. And then there's the racks and uh, different apparatuses you can get for the roof to carry gear up there. A neat feature that I really like on all the Rockwoods is this removable table for out here. And then we've got a griddle that comes with the camper too. So you can just slide those on, uh, have a place to put, put your um, stuff while you're cooking, plus the griddle right here. It's a real nice, uh, real nice feature and it comes right off. And you'll notice this is, we call them single axle campers because there is typically one axle uh, you can every now and then find one just a smudge bigger than this that will do two. Um, but one axle is plenty for 3,500 pounds. And this is even the beefier uh, suspension with an all-terrain tire. And something else I wanted to point out on this, uh, this Geo Pro is that the air conditioner is running on the inside off of that 2,000 watt uh, suitcase generator inverter. Well, the technology got to where it is now, uh, a generator this size would not even start a, uh, an AC like that. But again, with them becoming more and more efficient, uh, that's something you can do. It just adds to your ability to go anywhere. This is a Cherokee Wolf Pup 17JG. This is going to be the biggest of our smallest campers I'll show you today. Still a single axle. This one weighs in at 3,900 pounds, so we're starting to get more into your uh, your traditional you know travel trailer weights but this could still be some of your uh, some of your smaller SUVs things like that and it's still a very easy camper to pull and, and maintain and, and, and use I actually had one of these just recently uh, we just traded it in on a on one a little bigger but um, we've had some really big campers and we went from a big fifth wheel down to this and we really enjoyed it I was really impressed of just how well uh, this little little camper worked for my family of five and it's got again all the amenities outdoor refrigerator Which is always a nice plus and you're gonna get into more storage and a slide uh, That's a little bigger than what we've seen in the past. Let's go in and look at the inside Okay inside here. We're getting into more like the size of a traditional travel trailer Big dinette. This is one of the things my wife really liked about this camper was the whole family could sit there and eat in a small camper This one's got two bunks a bathroom, your full fridge here. This is the same fridge that comes in the bigger ones. So we're up up to the size big enough to where you're getting the, uh, the bigger refrigerators, stove, microwave, AC, everything you need, hot, cold water, furnace, all in a small little camper that just about anything can pull still. So I just wanted to talk briefly about tow capacities, your vehicles, and why these campers are, are so beneficial. It's fun to come to the RV store and look at everything. It might start off small and you, you keep looking and you see bigger and bigger ones. And before you know it, you're at a, you know, a, a six or 7,000 pound camper, sometimes even 10 or 11. That's happened to me back when, when, when I was not in the camper business, but, uh, but I have a camper myself. Remember while you're shopping, no matter what you buy, you got to tow at some point. Being comfortable with that and knowing the limits of your tow vehicle are very, very important. And having some idea of what your vehicle can tow before you go uh, start shopping is a very good idea. The best source for that 
is having your VIN number or, or visiting the dealer where you bought your vehicle from, uh, especially a franchise dealer. Uh, so if it's a Chevy, call a Chevy store. If it's a Ford, call a Ford store and so on. If you got it from a, a used car lot, maybe they can help you. Uh, but there's a lot of sources online. Even our website, the johnsonrvcenter.com, has an area in there with a reference, okay? It is not carved in stone. There's a lot of different packages, transmissions, all this kind of stuff that could affect your tow capacity. So it does fall on the customer as far as the, the ultimate, you know, this is what my vehicle can, can tow. And I do suggest getting that from the dealer. But staying within that range, you know, if your vehicle can tow 7,000 pounds, a camper that weighs 5,000 pounds, in my opinion, is perfect. There's room to put stuff in it. You're not maxing out the capacity of, of a vehicle where a lot of people will go, okay, my vehicle can pull 7,000 pounds. Where are the 7,000 pound campers? Just, just keep that in mind. Our rule here is if, it's, if, it's, if it meets the requirements empty leaving, then, then you're allowed to leave with it. But we definitely encourage you uh, to, to not do so and give yourself some room from what the camper, camper weighs dry to what the camper is going to, what you're going to put in the camper and tow, water, propane, all that stuff weighs or adds to the weight before you put any pots, pans, dishes, clothes, and all that type of stuff in there, and it just keeps going up and up. So just keep all that in mind. Towing safe is, is very, very important. You never want to want to push those limits, and I, I really, as a dealer, try not to do what has happened to me in the past, and has happened to many people, is you come in, you find a camper you love, you leave with it, and then three months later, you're back in here saying, oh, that thing's too big for my tow vehicle, I'm scared to pull it, and I need to get something smaller. These little units have a lot to offer, lots of features in a small package, so consider them. If they don't work for you, then, then definitely there's, there's tons of other options. You know, the, the sky's the limit when it comes to that. But this, you know, be it the first time or downsizing, like, like I did, like a lot of people do. I've got friends that have big fifth wheels that actually own those, uh, those clippers uh, and those type campers. And there's even, those aren't even the smallest there are. There's campers out there that are basically just little little square cubes. It has nothing more than a bed in it, but it still has the, on the back, you'll still have your kitchen that opens up and uh, you still have an air conditioner, TV, all that kind of stuff, even in this little cube that doesn't even weigh a thousand pounds. Come see us, let us show you the different options and uh, get out there and get under a tree somewhere and hear the running water and enjoy life.